Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared complicated problem for you how to calculate inbreeding of individual B. From my previous videos you probably know how to calculate inbreeding of B if for example we do not have this top part. So we have here one male with two matings, two unrelated other two women and they have two children which are going to be half brother and half sister and we have to find inbreeding of the individual B. But now everything is complicated that we have also to find inbreeding of the individual A. As you see it is clear that there are multiple loops here. So this individual have to be inbred and we also have to include these calculations in calculation of inbreeding of the individual B. So first of all let's find how individual A is inbred and first loop would be as follows. So this is going to be first loop and we are going to find how many nodes we have here on this loop. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, and five. So we are going to use nodes method today, not passes because it is faster. So we have one half for this loop uh, and power five, which stand for the number of nodes here. But we have here another loop which is going to be as follows. So let me use different colors this time. So one node, second, third, fourth and fifth. So we have to add this to probabilities that individual A would be inbred, would have two alleles from the same common ancestor. In this case this is going to be this common ancestor. In other case it's going to be this common ancestor from both uh, father side and mother side. So let's add this is going to be the same probability which is one half in a power of five. So it's going to be one half power four. But we have two more loops here. Take a look. Here is going to be another loop. So we have also include this in our calculation. One node, second, third, fourth and fifth. So we are going to get the same number. So one half power five. And yet we have another one. One, two, three, four and five nodes again. So we have to add these numbers also. One half power five and we are going to get one half power four. Now in order to find how this individual A in bread we just have to also uh, add this to probabilities that individual A would inherit two same alleles from the same ancestor from uh, mother side and father side. As you see four loops. So we calculated added two loops here, two loops here. Now we have to add these numbers also. So plus one half power four and we are going to get one half power three. So what does this number means? One half power three means that we have to multiply this number by itself three times. And we are going to get one. So one half times one half is one quarter times one half is going to be one eighth. So one over eight. And decimal number is going to be zero point one two five. So this number stands for how individual A in bread. So it is zero point one two five. So twelve point five percent in other words because we're doing all our calculations on the scale between 
0 and 1. So for this number stand 12.5% or we can multiply this number by 100 or move this decimal point two places to the right in order to get 12.5%. Now let's find how individual B is in bread. So we have a loop here and here's individual B and how many nodes in this loop we have and this is going to be 1, 2 and 3. So again it's going to be 1 half in the power of 3. It's going to be 1 eighth or 0 0.125. Now if you think that we again just have to add these two numbers to include in our calculations in breeding of the individual A, this is not exactly what we are going to do. Take a look. So we have in breeding of the individual B, which is this number. So let me underline. Let us use it again. 0 0.125 because one note here, this common ancestor from the father side and mother side is already inbred. We also have to uh, include in our calculations, but we have to multiply these numbers. But if you multiply this number by this number, you're going to get inbreeding even less. So what we have to do? We have to add one to this number. So in this case, we are going to get, uh, so we have to multiply by one plus 0 0.125. In this case, we are going to increase in breeding of the individual B and not to decrease. So in this case, we are going to get an answer as 0 0.14. Or if you need an answer in percent form, as I said, we just have to multiply by 100 and we are going to get 14%. So take a look. If we would just when calculating in Britain of individual B would only consider these three individuals in this loop, we would say that in breeding of the individual B would be 12.5%. But because individual A or grandfather is already inbred through all this relationship, so we have found that this are going to affect in breeding of the individual B and this is exactly how it's going to increase in breeding chances of the individual B from 12.5% to 14%. And one last note would be that when we consider a loop, we do not include a person for whom we are doing calculations. For example, in this loop, we only consider these three persons. And for example, in this loop, Again, we consider only these individuals excluding the person for whom we are doing calculations. So just don't forget this rule. You also may use different method, which I also explain in my other videos where we calculate all the passes. It's more time consuming and unnecessary here, uh, especially considering the complexity of this pedigree. But the result is going to be the same. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.